Welcome to our jQuery tutorial about the document ready event. Um, find more tutorials at jQuery.heaveninteractive.com. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the document ready event. As you know, the document ready event is very important with jQuery. Lots of scripts use this. First, we'll talk about making sure we have jQuery in our HTML uh, code as far as being a script link. Then we'll talk about alerting the user on ready. And then we'll talk about fading in an element on ready using uh, document ready. So a couple of basic uh, exercises, but ones that you'll be able to benefit from as you move along. So first, we have an HTML file here. I'm calling it first jQuery.html. And notice here in the head, we have a script tag. And then we have an SRC attribute with the name of our jQuery uh, JS file, which is the jQuery source. Um, you'll see in my file structure, I have a folder and they're in the same directory, our HTML file and our JS file in this case are in the same folder. So therefore I can just say source equals uh, the name of that file. Now I'm going to write some code to launch on document ready. So I have to put, you always have to put this script tag uh, and then I'm going to say uh, dollar sign document ready function Notice that this is the closing of the document ready function. And I'm going to say alert document is ready, Captain. Captain Stubing or whatever your name is. Okay. Document ready. Alert. Document is ready. So we're just going to send a message to the user in this case. Okay, so I save that. Syntax looks good. Notice I'm using a color-coded editor, so everything appears to be okay. And let's load the page. Notice I have it here, and I get document is ready, Captain. So in this case, uh, we've used our JavaScript to actually send a message to the user. Uh, and this document ready fires as soon as document object is loaded in the browser. Okay, lastly, let's fade in an element on document ready. So let's say that I have an HTML element somewhere down here. Let's make an H1 and this will be uh, welcome to our site. This will be an H1. And I'm going to remove this alert here. And let's look, I'm going to save that. And now I have just welcome to our site here, right? It's an H1. If you look at the source of the file, it's just an H1 down here. Uh, now I'm going to add a little bit of CSS to make that uh, H1 invisible. Pretty basic, I'm just going to say h1 display none, right? And now if I load the page, it's not there, but it is in fact in the HTML. Our element is still in the document object. It's there, but it's invisible because I said display none. But I'm going to have JavaScript uh, load that and fade that element in using jQuery. So I'm going to say document ready. I'm going to say h1 fade in. And this would actually fade in all h1 objects on the page. Because I noticed that I used jQuery here. I could have also said dollar sign h1 fade in. These are actually interchangeable. Uh, I often write jQuery because it's more exact. Uh, this is a shortcut.
for this. Okay, so jQuery h1 fade in. Let's see what happens. Look at that, nice fade in. You can also specify the time that it would take to fade in. If I want to fade in over one second, I would use 1000, which is 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. One second fade in. How about a two second fade in, which would be long fade in two seconds three second fade in pretty long fade in so as you can see uh, these uh, document ready uh, events are uh, being fired on the uh, ready event when the page is loaded we have some functions that are being fired we say jQuery and then the name of the HTML element in this case h1 and then we give it this fade in uh, directive. Thanks very much. Uh, as a reminder, you can find more tutorials to master jQuery at jQuery.heaveninteractive.com. Thank you.